Hi folks, today we're going to take a look at the arrest of Leroy Truth Investigations, where he goes to a city council meeting and, well, F around and found out. But before we start today's video, as always, a big thank you to all of my current and new channel members and subscribers. Without your guys' continuous, ongoing support, I couldn't keep this channel going, so I want to thank all of you personally from the bottom of my heart. And if you guys are new to the channel, please subscribe to the page. Leave a like and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. If you can, follow me on TikTok. Also, if you possibly could, consider becoming a member. With all that being said, let's enjoy today's video. Galzophoto.com, S-C-A-L-Z-O. Um, I just wanted to read two of these comedy, political comedy pieces here. One of them authored by Police Chief Anthony Ficini. The other one authored by Brian Steck. The first comedy piece, it's basically a criminal, criminal charges towards Leroy here. What? And thank you for joining us today. Appreciate your, your time. And so let's read this here. This is in reference to a pending litigation matter. I don't care. I'm going to read it anyway. Am I allowed to speak about it? I'm not allowed to speak. Well, I'm going to do it anyway. Now, I don't know who the gentleman at the podium truly is. I don't know if he's a lawyer or a friend or someone else who's drunk in the Florida Kool-Aid a little too hard, but he's jeopardizing a person's criminal case right now. I mean, I understand that Leroy feels like he has to be this great and all-seeing investigative journalist, although he really isn't. He is very biased when it comes to his journalism. And I say that with air quotes, but the city council's right. You know, this is not the time or place to discuss this. This is a limited forum meeting. And well, discussing an ongoing criminal matter would not help this meeting at all. With purpose to harass another, make or cause to be made communication or communications in a manner likely, this is a public document, first of all, to cause annoyance or alarm, specifically, I'm re this is my time. He told you you can't read the paper. I don't care what it's he said. It's a form. You have to care for you. It's a limited form. What does that mean? It's under the optimal rules. You have to sit down. So I can't read. That's, that's a legal proceeding that's going on with that. So? You need What's to sit statute? down. We told you once, we're not going to tell you again. You need to sit down. So, no can I talk about something else then? Down. I'll, talk, no sit down, sir. I'll talk about something else then. Oh yeah, talk about something else that you can't talk about. They literally right. told him what he could talk about and what he can't. So I can't talk about his public charges? Okay, then we'll talk about something else. I mean, look at, look at his body language right there, how, how awkward that is. Okay, so, let's see, how could I rephrase this? So you're basically proving my point right now. How, how sad is that, that I can't talk? So basically, Brian Stack is exaggerating and lying in order to file false charges and exaggerated charges against Leroy, against his f free speech and his criticism of the mayor, as you know. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. Shenanigans. Na, 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 na. And we're calling shenanigans, folks, because Leroy Truth Investigations isn't being very truthful. You see, he's had several incidents and run-ins with Brian Stack, the mayor here, or his staff. Now, he's made a video where he's claimed that he was body-checked by somebody. But I've seen that video, and it seems like he walked into another individual, saying that the guy reached back and body-checked him and threw his arm back was not the case. He's also claimed that there was a small riot at a uh, government office where the mayor supporters were. In fact, it was him in disguise trying to rush in with his camera, Gimli stick, and another accomplice to harass the people there. Hmm. So typical Florida tactics trying to pose as news. So, uh, like, what is that about? I can't speak. Can't speak about. I'm gonna be what arrested if I can continue, continue to read it. They're basically your words, by the way. I was reading your words. So I, f okay, this is, that's wild. Um, so basically they're saying that if Leroy continues to go to the mayor's office, that's considered Sorry, harassment. This isn't appropriate for discussion here. Why, what's not appropriate? Okay, I'm, so? You have to comment on something on the agenda or? Comment? No, it's public comment, this is my. So, so okay, let me, let me keep it more general then. It, I invite Leroy, please continue to, to join me in the city hall as often as you want, whether you want to come every two weeks, every week. And if they arrest you for harassment, that's, that's un-American and that's wrong. 
And if they decide to file more charges against you, that is wrong. If they decide to file charges against you for what, criticizing the mayor? If, I mean, Anthony, the pretend police chief, Anthony Ficini, got his feelings hurt, so he decided to file charges against you. And what a crock of shit. Have you ever heard more bullshit or drivel coming from somebody who's not even the president? That I think is wrong. The pretend police chief, Anthony Ficini, maybe someone can call him a ambulance. He got upset that you were, you were posting cartoons. And, I, and it, just imagine this picture where you have high quality, two high quality police officers having a conversation. One guy says, oh, remember that time we caught that armed robber and he, we tackled to the ground and we saved those people's life from the, the bank robbery? And the other officer says, I'm going to rude they are. Let me just remember. Well, isn't that ironic? It's a frauder calling somebody rude when frauditors and their supporters tend to use rude tactics and be rude themselves. I mean, it's awfully rude of you guys to come to this limited public forum meeting to waste the time of the people who are there discussing the things of the agenda. Now, I don't know exactly what's on this agenda. It could be about education reform. It could be about incorporating funds to help pay for traffic lights or road work or maybe even a community garden. But instead, you guys want to come here and waste time just to what? Because you guys' Fifi's got hurt. Because you guys need a way ambulance because your feelings were hurt. You want to criticize others, but yet when somebody criticizes you, be it a content creator on YouTube or somebody in the comments section, you guys either block them or file frivolous copyright strikes or claims or privacy strikes. Remember the time we stopped the stabbing and we, we protected those victims? Yes, those are two high quality officers. Now, the pretend chief, Anthony Ficini, comes in. Oh, I was in a, I was in a dangerous situation too. Remember that time Leroy post, posted cartoons about me? That was terrifying. Is this just a genetic thing with you? Is it congenital? Did, you, did your mother drop you on your head when you were a the baby? Buzzard. And I, I'm going to file charges against those memes and political satire and comment, commentary. Um, so, and in my opinion, I don't think someone could be, should be charged with a crime for criticizing the pathetic. Can I use the word pathetic? Thank you, I appreciate it. The low quality p pretend police chief because he got his feelings hurt and he's un-American and he wants to file charges against a free person here. Anyway, I, I encourage you, Leroy, to continue to criticize the police chief, continue to, continue to criticize. And by the way, see, I wanna, I wanna cons I'm not allowed to consult my notes here. Well, you're allowed to. They can't tell you what to say or not. But I'm gonna get arrested. You can't arrest you for that. But what if I don't stop talking? Then I'll be arrested. Okay, so you're basically proving our point right here. Uh, it's basically some communist dictatorship where Mayor Brian Stack, Mayor Mao Zedong Pro Brian Stack um, dictates, first of all, this is another issue of uh, the lawyer over here use, misuses tax dollars and is basically working as the mayor's political advisor, which is not your role, is to, we should, you shouldn't be stopping people from criticizing the mayor. Your role is only to stop lawsuits and to advise them on the law, not to be his personal uh, political uh, advisor, which you do all the time. Now, I don't have any proof showing that the city attorney has represented the mayor in any form of political advisement or any proof showing that he has. So I'm not going to discuss that. What I am going to discuss is the duties of the city attorney. The city attorney is to help advise on laws and policies, so they don't violate the Constitution, and they also help represent the city when it comes to legal matters, such as maybe somebody gets hurt at the parks and somebody wants to sue the city parks, so he would help represent the city or find a law firm that would. Now, that's his duty. Without proof or anything like that, you're just making baseless accusations that does not help prove anything other than the fact that you and your Lenlicking Len compatriots and your fraud or master there are but a bunch of liars. Thank you. Hello, Mayor Sack. Now, I have a surprise for you. And you probably don't expect this from Leroy Truth, but because this is a night of awards and presentations, I have a special award for you, Mayor. Now, this award has never been given out in the history of the United States of America. And Mayor Sack, as you know, and are you going to do your same old you know, song and dance, ignore the public again? It's a shame. You should resign. But I'm going to give you this award, award anyway, because you've earned this. Now, I first came here, Brian, December 1st, 2024. What an idiot. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Let me look at my calendar here. Yeah, my calendar says we're still in July of 2024. How could you arrive in Union City, New Jersey, December 1st, 2024, unless you have a time machine? That must be why you get so confident. But the fact of the matter is, we know this was just a slip of the tongue, but yet yeah, you're coming off so arrogant and so cocky, I have to make fun of you for it. Or, and it's a day that will live in infamy for your life. Because since then, I've been now investigating over 2,137 allegations of corruption. Now, it reminds me a lot of your very good friend and mentor, Senator Bob Menendez, who was found guilty on all counts. So you know what that means for you, Mayor Stack? You thought you were untouchable. Well, he was a hell of a lot more powerful than you. So you may be the next indicted. Who knows? Now, this award is a very, very special award, which I know you and the commissioners will be so proud of. Now, I have received so many women, so many women have contacted me asking me to give you this award. And Mayor Stack and Senator Stack, head of Judiciary Stack, do you know what this award is? Well, I will tell you since you have become mute again, apparently. Your mother would not be proud. And this award was earned, excuse me, I have a First Amendment right, and I am not, you're disrupting me. You are hurting my First Amendment right right now. You have, to, you have a constitutional right to be a dumbass. Why don't you jump up on the stand? You and, have a constitutional right. Excuse me, I'm talking, this is my five minutes. No, I don't have to respect anybody. This is my five minutes. You gotta get your time back. No. Reclaim your time. This is not harassment. No, there is no statute of law that have to go back to the There is no statute of law. I am in, I am in a public commissioner. I don't have to respect them. You can't disrespect them. I could disrespect them if I want as well. It's you called First Amendment. Them. Now, I need to give him... Leroy is right. He does have the First Amendment right to readdress his government. And he does have the right to criticize his government. However, what he doesn't have the right to do is be a public inconvenience or annoyance or disrupt a public meeting or gathering. Because that would be a violation of disorderly conduct laws in the state of New Jersey. This award now. This is a limited form. No. In the Atma, you need to step back. No, step I do. Back. No, I do step not back need to. Your time will be eliminated. No, I do not need to step back. First step Amendment. Back. I can be anywhere. There is no statute or law. You name the statute or law that says I have back. to be. I don't care what they say. You're disrupting the meeting. Step they back. are disrupting my time. I want my time step back too. The, you're gonna no. get arrested if you don't step back. I do not have to. You give me the statute step that back. says you're I have to step back. Disrupting the meeting. I am talking. I cannot be disrupting the meeting when I'm speaking. You're disrupting the meeting. No, I do not have to step back. There is no statute or law. I am in a public. Am I in a public area or not right now? You are in a public area. Am I? But you're disrupting the meeting. I am speaking. I cannot be disrupting the meeting while I am speaking. Yeah, yeah. Wrong, 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 wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. You're wrong. Coming at me right you're, now. You're disrupting my time right now. You're disrupting the meeting. You actually, you're not talking to me. You're being very good. But you are disrupting my time right now. So you need to stand down and let me and, and protect my First Amendment rights. That's what you need to do. I'll protect it if you get behind the podium. Now, I don't there. need to be behind the podium. There is Obviously, no... when you stand over here, you disrupt the meeting. So you need to get back there. Come on. I am in a public area here. So I'm going to give, I'm going to give Mayor Stack this very special award now. Now, Mayor Stack... Get behind the podium. No. I am... Right, I'm going to have to arrest I do, I do not you have to... Do you want to get arrested? Is that what you want? No, I do not want to get arrested. But right, I, I want to You're exercise the meeting. This I, is a limited forum. No, there's you're certain disrupting rules here. Time, place, and matter. This is my, here. I'm explaining to you. Get your get face your out of my face. No, get you, your hand out of my face. You came up to me. Get your hands are in his face, sir. Your hands are in his face. Your hands are in his face. De escalate. Your hands are in my face. I'm de escalating. You're not listening. You're not de escalating. You have disrupted my five minutes. You're not listening. You're disrupting my one more time. They told you were disrupting meetings. You, know, you sit down, get behind the podium. You give me the statute or law that says I have to stand behind the podium. You, don't, you don't have to sit. You can go back there. And you cannot you talking about what law says I can't be here. Give me the statute or law, and I won't go back. It's a limited form. You're disrupting a commission meeting. That time, place, and manner, brother. Right, I'm not going to play with you. A limited form is time, there? place, no and manner. Everyone, go behind everyone has protected my right. I don't have to go behind the podium. You're disrupting the meeting. I'm telling you right now. This is my five minutes. Damn. All right, expired. Turn so you're gonna have to go. Your time is in the right. Hey, don't don't strong arm me. I'm I'm not gonna resist. I'm not gonna resist. Here, take that. I am being arrested for exercising my First Amendment right here in Union City, New Jersey, 
Mayor Stack has commanded they arrest me. Don't strong arm me. And I was arrested because I was exercising my First Amendment right, and they were attempting to make me go behind a podium. There is no statute or law that says I have to go behind a podium. I'm in a public... The disorderly conduct laws and the breach of the peace laws would say otherwise, Leroy. ...public area in front of the rope right here. Thank you, Leroy. Thank you for what you're doing. Thank you, Leroy. You're welcome. So, so these, are, these are the cops who broke the 100% track record of... And what, hey, you can tell them to stand down. Right? Um, Listen, I, I, I'll give up my life before I give up my rights, ma'am. Nobody's telling you to give up your rights. Can you believe this? He shouldn't be arrested. I'm arrested for First Amendment during my five minutes, and the captain's saying I'm disrupting when he's yelling at me and he disrupts my five minutes of time. And then he says I have to respect the commissioners? That's a joke. They are not to be respected. They are disrespectable. Now, I'm ending the video here. The video does continue on of Leroy and his two accomplices yelling that the cops are pigs, they violated his rights, this is unconstitutional, this was just because of them retaliating against him, criticizing the mayor and the council. In reality, he was violating disorderly conduct laws and he was punished for it. So if you guys like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave a thumbs up and a comment because it helps me with the algorithm. And if you can, please consider becoming a member. With all that being said, be well, be safe, and I'll see you guys. And a special thank you to all members of the news team. Without your guys' continuous, ongoing support, I couldn't keep this channel going. So I want to thank all of you from the bottom of my heart.